Um, so here, here we are, Marco Severino uh, from Flow Design Architects. Um, in this new video, if you haven't followed us on Instagram, um, Facebook, YouTube, um, feel free to join us in all of the medias that we have out there. Uh, we started to record some, some video series in order to, to show the, the community uh, important things that we, um, we come across all the time. So we try to kind of influence the community and kind of teach the community in a way that um, if they are trying to develop some, some properties, they, they have some information that they could base it off. So in this case, we are going to um, be creating a video series called um, Things to Consider While Buying a Property. So um, uh, in the previous videos, we had conversations about zoning regulations um, in some major items that you need to tackle. So if you haven't looked at that video, feel free to look at our list of playlists and try to find that video so you get a sense of those topics prior to seeing this video. If you've seen this video, um, then I will recommend you to look at the videos prior to get a sense of what we talk about at that, at that time. Um, but in this case, we're gonna talk, uh, focus specifically on what things to consider while buying a property. So you as an owner, um, even somebody who doesn't own a property, I highly advise you to look into ways to own your own. Um, very important. We, I'm from the Dominican Republic. Uh, I came to this country, the United States, uh, 14 years ago. And one of the things that I put in my mind to do was to buy my own property. Just because, like, I always tell clients, you know, if you buy a property, um, it's something that you, you can say is yours and then you can develop it. If you try to sell it in the future, then you have that option. But if you don't have something, then, you know, it becomes a little, a little tough on that end. Plus renting, you know, for some people it works, for some people it doesn't. I always try uh, to kind of push my clients to own their own. So um, in case they want to develop it in the future and things like that. So what are the things to consider um, while you're buying a property? When you have that question in your mind, the first thing that you need to understand is the relationship and the difference between what if I buy the land, just an empty lot, and what if I buy an existing property. So you need to have very clear understanding of the difference between owning a land and then actually buying an existing property and have a clear understanding of what is your main goal at the end of the day. So in this case, like if let's say you, you are a barber and um, you don't own your, your house, but you want to buy or you want to either own your own house or, or buy land. So you need to really understand the difference and the implications of either buying an empty lot or develop an existing structure. So those are two major things that you need to first tackle in order to understand of what are the things that I need to pay attention to uh, in order to um, either develop an existing land or, or, or my property. So after you understand the, re the relationship of these two, then you can make a, a, a very informative decision in order to, if I do decide to buy land, what are my implications? Um, are my implications, you know, setbacks? You know, are my implications FAR? Are my implications, um, you know, zoning district? You know, so it's very important. So if you don't know these topics, setbacks, FAR and, and zoning district, make sure to look at the video that we uh, previously recorded, we went into detail into all of this. But if you do decide to uh, develop a land, you know, just an empty law, then you need to uh, be aware of these topics and what you are trying to develop within that land. So it's, it's, it's very important. Uh, in this video, we're going to go briefly um, discussing these elements. Uh, in each video, we're going to talk about the difference um, in, in, of all these topics. 
Uh, but the first thing that you need to understand is the relationship between if you do decide to do land, develop land, or if you decide to develop an existing property. Within the existing property, um, there are types of, 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 of properties. There are residential properties and there are also commercial properties, which also relate to, you know, the land, because if you're trying to do you develop a land, it also relates into whatever you're trying to do. Is it residential? Is it commercial? And then within commercial, do you have different type of businesses? So uh, I, I kind of mentioned some of the, um, the ones that we typically see at the office um, that we help clients all the time. So we are going to go into detail into these type of businesses and things that you need to consider to be able to develop that property. So um, stay in tune for uh, future videos and we're going to tackle those topics so that way you understand what can I do um, and things to consider while developing up either land or an existing property. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next one.